long-awaited Luigi's Mansion 4 project ideas video. Thank you all so much for being on this journey with me and making it all the way to the point we're at now where I am finally revealing the project to you. But before I reveal much about the Luigi's Mansion 4 project, I think we should probably reflect on the past and see the transition between Luigi's Mansion 3 and Luigi's Mansion 4. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Hey, Patoto, it's my dad. Ho ho! Hey, Patoto, I'm going to go to the hotel to see you. See? So I think it's safe to say one of the first things we have to discuss is the new Poltergust, the Poltergust Ultima which Luigi wields in my Luigi's Mansion 4 project. Let's go over all the different qualities that this vacuum has. Firstly, it captures ghosts. Any spooky specter that is floating around this mansion can be caught by the Poltergust Ultima. Secondly, it can use elements like fire, water, ice, and earth abilities. It also has a light indicator, a visual representation on your vacuum indicating what element you have equipped. Red being fire, blue being water, white being ice, green being earth, and off being air. And lastly, the Poltergeist Ultima has four upgrade slots. These upgrade slots can use upgrade cartridges which you can buy from Professor Egad in his lab and each upgrade card has different features that could be used on the Poltergeist to enhance his abilities. Like the Strobel which is a lot stronger than your standard flashlight and it could stun more ghosts. Or the Slam ability which helps making capture ghosts way more easier. So now that you know what Luigi is equipped with, let's head over and see the mansion. Here it is, Luigi already knows that King Boo is most likely the one who captured all of his friends and now he goes off to Boo Manor which is in the middle of Boo Woods. Boo Manor is a four story building with an attic floor as well as two basement floors and it is filled with spooky creaky hallways and uninhabited rooms or so you think. Let's not waste time just sitting out here looking at the mansion from the outside, let's go inside to the main foyer. Here is the main foyer. You see two Boo statues at the bottom of the staircase and a good giant portrait of King Boo at the very top. This is Luigi's safe haven. This is the first room that Luigi walks into as he enters the mansion, but it's a bit dark in here. Let's see if we can uh, turn some lights on. So yes, this is the foyer in its full glory. Now, we kind of need a little bit of direction to uh, so where to go. Now, Luigi also finds a little device on his way that Egad must have dropped. Let's pick it up, shall we? 
Wow, it's a Game Boy Advance, but it has a little map on it. This is the map of Boo Manor. Let's check it out and see what all the floors have to offer. This is the first floor, but before we go into actually detailing what each floor is about, I gotta quickly point out all the different symbols that you're seeing on the map to clarify a few things. The black rectangles are all doors, doors that are either open or can be unlocked, there's no real clarification, but, but you know, I feel like it's not really needed. The white rectangles are doors that can be discovered using Luigi's Dark Light device that was introduced in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. The rooms with the gold ghost icon basically represent rooms that have common fodder ghosts in them that you fight and clear the room and get the key and move on. The rooms with the picture frames that has Neville on them from the original Luigi's Mansion represent rooms that have portrait ghosts in them, or, you know, boss ghosts, character ghosts, whatever you want to call them. The Luigi icon obviously represents where Luigi is in respect to the floor. And lastly, the little fire element icon you can see over there is where you discover the element um, that is pictured. So here in the ritual room, you see the fire element, and that's where you acquire that element for your poltergust. So as you can see, the first floor is a pretty generic standard mansion theme. You have rooms like the the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, the pantry, you know, the playroom, you know, all that kind of stuff. But there are quite a few hidden little areas that are not required to proceed in the game, but you might find them along your way, like the meditation room, um, the hidden hallway, as well as a secret entrance to the kitchen. Next up is the second floor. Now here you can see that there are multiple different colors representing the rooms. So let me quickly explain what the colors mean. Each color represents a different area. In the first Luigi's Mansion, there were many different areas in the game, and they ended off with a boss battle. So the first area obviously is the first floor and there's an outside boss battle. The second floor here obviously um, is the blue color that is area 2. And on this floor the main theme is the fact that there are portrait ghosts that are coming back from other games. So you can see on the top left hand corner you see Chauncey's room, Chauncey would return, um, and you see the band room and the grand piano room which would have Melody and, uh, and Metis Wolf guys respectfully. And there's just many different rooms with many different ghosts. On the top right hand corner you can see the art gallery with a boss ghost picture. Now downstairs obviously I didn't have the boss ghost picture because it was actually outside, but you'll see more of this boss later. Here, on the second floor, you see that the boss is in the art gallery, so that returning ghost is obviously Van Gore, who would be the big boss for this area. So then you see the red sections. The red sections are area 3, so there's a hallway that leads upstairs to area 3. So let's quickly go upstairs and uh, see what's up there. So obviously up here, the main theme is it's a recreation area with many different recreation rooms, like a kid's play area, like a VIP room, a gambling room, a gaming room, a, a sauna, all that kind of stuff. Going back to the second floor, you can see also on the second floor there's storage for the casino and video game rooms, and there's also a guest bedroom in the second area area where, you know, we previously were. So this does lead to a little bit of backtracking, but not as tedious as the Polter Kitty missions from Luigi's Mansion 3. This also relies on the importance of making sure you remember previous areas and rooms that you did not unlock before. As you can see on the third floor, there are two rooms at the top right that are pink. Those will come into question later, but let's look at one of the rooms on the third floor. At the very bottom you see the security station. You actually bump into a ghost who is a ghost detective. Basically, this ghost detective that you bump into, his name is Lucky, and basically he gives you a mission. You must find a bunch of clues and figure out who is the prime uh, suspect in a murder. So as you can see, on the bottom right hand corner in the locker room, you see the first of the clues. So this is the only clue in Area 3 that will lead you to figuring out who did the murder, which you then go into and investigate in Area 4. And you can see up at the top, the VIP room hosts the boss. The boss ghost in this area is a blackjack dealer. He will be described a little bit later when we get into talking about the ghosts. So now, let's head up to Area 4. So Area 4 takes you upstairs, and you see it's a very pink area, lots of pink rooms, and you can see all the different magnifying glasses. The magnifying glasses obviously represent each clue, and usually they are found after you defeat a portrait ghost. Obviously, each portrait ghost hosts a clue, and obviously you can see up in the right-hand corner you see Clyde. Clyde has a key that will lead you to the hand that's in a closet that he hid away. Then you head back downstairs, and then at the very end you see the crime scene room, and then you do your investigating, and then you solve the clue. There is no area boss in this area. The main point of this area is for you to find out the clue. If you get it right, Lucky the Detective will give you the key to the next area and let you proceed. If not, then he will proceed to fight you as you got the answer wrong. 
So obviously, once you defeat Lucky, or once you solve his riddle correctly, then you move on to Area 5, which is the Attic. The theme of the Attic is it's a very decrepit, abandoned area. Obviously, it's got a lot of familiar rooms, like a bathroom, nursery, bedroom, etc., etc., but it's all very run down and grim and very... Uh, unkempt. There's not really much to say about this area because it's kind of self-explanatory. It's kind of split up into two halves, being the right half, which is the entrance, and then the left half, which leads up to the roof. And yeah. Speaking of the roof, here's the roof. Now, obviously, it is not part of Area 5. It's actually part of Area 6, but you don't exactly quite have access to the roof until you get through some of Area 6, which takes place in the basement. So let's go down and look there. So here is the basement. Obviously, it's got a lot of the kind of tavern stuff. It's got a treasure room, which is actually completely hidden. It's got an armory, a surveillance room. It's got a waste room, etc., etc. Not much to really say about this room because it is a very, you know, kind of basement-like room. But now we're going to head down to the cellar where area 7 and the final area is so let's head down there as you can see it is a definite cellar there is a boiler room a furnace room an electrical room etc etc it's obviously also king boo's area where he has a whole corner that's devoted to him there's a fanatic room which on, on the bottom left which is basically a fanatic of king boo no it's not hella gravely it's a different fanatic and the one interesting idea i had for this is that you can see in the middle there's a room called the Flooded Room, so this room is completely flooded. Luigi cannot access it even when he gets the key. So he must find the Pipe Room, which is the room where all the pipes are, and you must use the Dark Light to repair the pipes. But the problem is, as you, can, as you can see on the map, there is no Pipe Room. Well, that's where you go back up to the basement. You can see the Pipe Room here, but obviously in the actual game, there would literally be on, it wouldn't literally be on the map telling you that that's the Pipe Room. It would be hidden. And as you can see, there's no actual door that leads into the room unless you dark light it. So this is a room where you have to use the dark light to find it. Of course there would be a clue telling you that this room is in the basement, but you would have to look around and look for this pipe room. And then of course the final room is King Boo's altar where you fight King Boo. Now I haven't really thought of a proper boss fight for King Boo yet, but nonetheless it would be pretty awesome. It would actually probably be in the mansion itself where King Boo would probably chase you around the mansion rather than going up to the roof as with literally basically every single Luigi's Mansion game. Now, before we wander around the mansion a bit and look at some of the rooms, I actually think it'd be kind of nice to listen to some of the music that I have designed. Well, not really designed, but had someone else designed for me for what this game, uh, you know, soundtrack would sound like. Now, funny enough, you're actually listening to one of the pieces right now, but I'm actually going to change you to another scene where you're going to listen to all three pieces that I have set up for this game. So without any further ado, let's get right into that.
Did you like what you heard? Hopefully you did like what you heard. So now we're actually going to go explore the mansion a bit. So we're going to go to one of the rooms. So let's pull up the Game Boy Horror Advance SP here. And we're going to look at the map. So where we are going right now is the living room. Which you can see you have to go down a hallway and into the living room. So let's head out to the hallway. So here we go. This is part of the first floor hallway. Um, it's pretty empty right now. I'm not really seeing many ghosts coming around. Uh -huh. Oh wait, here are a few. I guess we should take the time to examine these two ghosts a little closely. This one right here is a Shrieker. The Shrieker, what they do is they come up to you, they sneak up to you, usually invisible, and they pop out and obviously shriek at you. They'll knock away half of your health, but you'll be supplied a heart that'll regenerate your health once you capture the ghost. If the ghost escapes, then they keep your heart and you don't capture them. These kinds of ghosts are only seen in the hallway, so obviously, you know, they're not in the actual rooms, but, you know, they're typical hallway ghosts that you'll have to face. The other one you see is a bomber. Now, these guys will chuck bombs at you. Their health may be low, but if you get hit with one of these bombs, it does a lot of damage, so make sure to avoid these guys and obviously try to capture them if they stand in your way. All right, so that's about it for the hallway. Uh, let's go down the hall and uh, into the living room. Here is the living room. Uh, it's nice and peaceful in here, isn't it? Well, besides the kind of torn up couch, the portrait of King Boo staring us in the background, and the overall dark and creepy nature of the room. But this is one of the rooms Luigi would have to traverse and capture all the ghosts so he can move on to the next room. And this is actually going to lead me to my next point. So obviously these rooms are very empty right now. Not much is going on. So I have a few screenshots I would like to share with you. These are screenshots where I kind of imagined what it would look like in game to be looking at these rooms filled with Luigi and ghosts as well. So let's get into that. Here is the living room shot with a bunch of ghosts and Luigi capturing them. So as you can see on the top left, uh, Luigi has 75 health and his heart indicator shows that it's not completely full. As you can see the gold bone next to his health meaning that if Luigi dies he will respawn, you know, without, without any real penalty. So Luigi's surrounded by four ghosts right now. He has a hider that's hiding out in the uh, vase over there. He has a purple puncher behind him that's sure to make his life a mess. And he's also capturing up a gold ghost and a greenie. Obviously, you can see that the map is indicating that he is in the living room, and he is also equipped with a fire elemental, so earlier in the floor he got the fire elemental, and he is now currently equipped with it. So yeah, so there's not much more to say about this screenshot besides it's Luigi capturing a bunch of ghosts in the living room. Not much to say. Uh, so let's move on to the hallway shot. Obviously, this is Luigi in the hallway. Obviously, he had just been scared by a shrieker since his health is down to 50. He has a goob behind him, which goobs are actually restricted to being only hallway ghosts in this game. And you can see the bomber in the background with the little measly 5 health, so he's easy to capture, but boy, his bombs do a lot of damage. So again, there's not much else to really say about this. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, ghosts in a hallway. Uh, yeah, so I think the next screenshot actually might be kind of interesting. What is this? Well, it looks like Luigi is in a boss arena with a boss ghost. So this boss right here, his name is Hank, and he is, well, the boss of Area 1. In Area 1, you go outside to the main garden area, and then you head up in the back towards the woods, and Hank is sitting there waiting for you. He is what I like to call a crazed woodsman, and he takes you into his arena, and basically he swings his axe at you, and the point is you want to get him to swing his axe into one of the stumps, so that his axe gets stuck so he can't attack you. That is when he becomes vulnerable, and then you can stun him and capture him up. Sure, it's a pretty simple boss fight, but it's the first boss fight of the game. It wouldn't be anything too complicated anyways. And you see Egad rooting for you in the bottom right-hand corner there. No, he is not going to be giving you advice like every 10 seconds like in Luigi's Mansion 3. He will just simply be rooting for you in the background as you're fighting uh, Hank. So, yeah. So what do you guys think so far? Do you like the concepts? Well, I have a few more things to show you before we end today's video. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about the ghosts. Now, obviously, as you can tell, Luigi's Mansion 4 definitely has a lot of common ghost ideas. Some that are new, some that are used from the older games. And I've shown you basically everything there is to see, except I have left one ghost for last. So let me show him off right now. This guy right here is called the Stealer. Now, he is actually what I kind of call a rare ghost. He doesn't appear too, too often, as that would kind of probably get annoying if he appeared very often. But what this guy does is he steals your poltergeist and hides it somewhere in the mansion. All you get is a singular clue of where the poltergeist might be. 
and then once you find the poltergeist, then you can capture the stealer ghost. He's pretty simple in concept, and he wouldn't appear too, too often, maybe like once per area, if that. And if he would have a little bit of health, seeing as he's more so kind of a mini-boss in a way, he'd probably have around 50 health points. So that's it for the common ghosts. I know there's a lot to take in there, but there's definitely a lot of them. Now let's go on to the portrait ghosts. So these five ghosts on the screen right now should look familiar to people who've been subscribed to my channel for a while. These ghosts were all in my Luigi's Mansion 3 uh, portrait ghost concepts video. I'm not going to talk in depth about any of these ghosts because I've already done that in that past video, and I don't want to waste your time by talking about stuff I've already talked about before. So make sure, if you want to learn more about these five particular ghosts, definitely go and check out the Luigi's Mansion 3 concept portrait ghost video and learn more there. So there are four more ghosts I have to show you. This one right here, who I mentioned earlier, is Jack the Blackjack Dealer. Now, he is the main boss in Area 3, a.k.a. the Recreation Floor. Basically, you're going to play a card game with him, and if you win, then he'll accuse you of cheating, and, well, he does not like cheaters. So he'll attack you, using his sharp cards as a means of attack, and, well, you just want to capture him. He's a pretty valiant foe, though, so definitely make sure to keep an eye out for him. Next up is Lucky. Now, I mentioned him quite a bit earlier, but to reiterate, he is a detective, and to be frank, a failed detective. He cannot solve this crime. He cannot put the pieces together. So, it is your job to look for clues and then get them all together and then figure out who actually did the crime. If you get it right, Lucky will find his passion again for being a detective and leave you alone. If you lose, however, he will become enraged and basically he will attack you which you don't want. So he's one of those ghosts that you can either have live or have captured depending on how you do. But yeah, Lucky's just kind of a lovable idiot in a way. Next up is Hank. Now, you saw him earlier in the boss arena concept that I had drawn up. Basically, he's just kind of a crazed woodsman who lives out in the middle of the woods behind the mansion. Obviously, you disturb him in the middle of the woods, so he obviously attacks you. You know, he is a crazed woodsman after all. So you can kind of see the concept from the art that you see here. He swings his axe around and you want him to get his axe stuck on one of the tree stumps and then you can capture him. I mentioned it earlier, but just to reiterate. There's one other portrait ghost who is here. His name is Z and he is kind of a grumpy old man with these cute purple pajamas and his little teddy bear. He actually lives up on the fifth floor in the attic and he lives in the decrepit master bedroom and basically you wake him up and he gets very angry from that. As you can see, his eyes are red, different than the other portrait ghosts. This is a concept that I'm actually bringing back from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. A ghost with red eyes basically is a stronger version than a ghost with yellow eyes. Meaning that this guy can deal a lot of damage and he has a lot of health. This is a concept that comes in the latter half of the game, given that obviously he is on the fifth floor. He is the first one of these kinds of ghosts that you come across, at least this kind of the portrait ghosts. So, like I said, you wake him up and basically you gotta just suck him up or else he's gonna wreck your day. So that is it for my concepts and designs for Luigi's Mansion 4. Obviously, there's a lot of information here, so I seriously hope you enjoyed. Here's a list of the people that I couldn't have done this project without. My artists, my music person, everything. They're all on Fiverr, so if you ever want anything done, definitely make sure to go and check out these people. They have done an amazing job helping me get this project done. Also, make sure to check out my Twitter account. I have a tweet about this video up, and if you really like this video, I highly recommend you retweet that video or share the link of this video to wherever you want, whether it be Reddit or Twitter or wherever. Just share this video. I want it to get around. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and click the notification bell so you're notified of when I upload videos. Check out the merch store. I'm going to be putting up some Luigi's Mansion 4 merch up there if you enjoyed some stuff that you saw in this video. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.